Hello, YouTube. So this morning we wanted to talk about um, wall milling. So we we had some hobby, a new hobby that required a wall mill. And a lot of the um, cheap ones are really cheap, as you would expect from Harbor Freight. They're very flimsy and not very, um, you know, powerful. And the good ones are, of course, very expensive. So since it's a new hobby, I didn't want to spend a lot of money and uh, see if I can make my own um, uh, relatively inexpensive almost close to free and the way i did it i'm just going to talk about it a little bit okay so the way we did it is basically by repurposing a treadmill i've um, built a couple of projects from treadmills in the past and i've learned that it's a it's a gold mine of materials right um, it has a complete power system with the speed control motor bearings everything you would want in anything motorized and you can get them from craigslist or facebook marketplace for almost free i mean this one i i got it for free the guy said it didn't work and i had to do some electrical work and got it to work again and what i did i disassembled it completely including the platform and the belt as you can see it's a final product so i'll just talk about it a little bit um and uh, it wouldn't, uh, uh, what we did, we kept <coughs> all of the, um, so we kept the, as you, so ignore these brackets for a second. So this is the, uh, a belt roller in the front. That's the belt roller from the back. And that's the front frame. And that's a control system that you have on the top of the treadmill. So we disassembled everything and kept only these parts. Um, I did remove the incline motor right here. We don't need it for this project. We'll save it for some other. And only thing I had to really build was this little L bracket. And I kind of built it from a, a electrical channel. Kind of cut it a little bit here to make it fit on this. And a L and a little reinforced, reinforced plate down below. Not a pretty belt, but hey, it does the job. Now, if you don't have welding equipment or you're not comfortable with the uh, metal work, there is an option. You can make this L bracket from uh, any kind of hardwood with a little support. I do need support down below, but we're just gonna put like a, a concrete block or a, or a four by four or something. I don't wanna do extra work just to make the support, but we're gonna need a support right here. As you can see, it's kind of wobbly. So once we put a weight here between these two roller for our ball mill drum, it is gonna become heavy and we need a support down here. So we're gonna put like a four by four. So, so, <clears throat> oh, and the last part. So what ball mill, is, ball mill is good without a drum. So how are you gonna get the drum? So that's my drum and once I flip it, you'll know that's your good old trusty <laughs> paint can. So I cut off the tabs. It's a plastic one. I cut off the tabs from both sides and remove the wrapper. That becomes my drum. So that drum sits right between. So let's talk about design, right? So how I figured out <clears throat> the design of this L. So I kind of roughly position these rollers together um, along with the support that came with the um, for this idler roller uh, with the treadmill. And then I measured the, the kind of position so the drum or our can will rather sit a little bit, um, I'd say quarter of a way down between the rollers. And then I measured the, the length from this uh, to here, seven inch in my case, and from here to the mounting point on the, the idle roller, that was three and a half inch. And so we basically, and then we give it a little bit of overhang on there. So you're gonna have to figure out the design of this based on the treadmill you have. So figure out what kind of mounting system you have available on the, the original frame and the original roller, idle roller, roller, and figure out how you're gonna connect them together so they're sturdy and uh, gonna take the load coming from the weight of those balls and the materials. And so there you have it. I mean, it's, let me power it on. 
just kind of show you how it works so we're gonna set it to the low speed and start or maybe not again start there we have it so um a couple of words of advice when you mount these rollers finally on on these brackets make sure they're exactly parallel if they're a little bit crooked relative to each other this drum's gonna want to roll to one side or the other it's gonna happen over time so eventually i'm gonna have to add like a a, a little bit of roller bearing here to kind of guide the roller or guide the drum in place so we'll, we'll do that if we really have to but for now i'm trying to not make it complicated like they say don't fix it if it ain't broken right so <clears throat> so that's the final product and yes we we kept the this uh, uh, cover as well for uh, for the from the original uh, treadmill. We have a, we have a cu cut a couple of notches here to kind of fit. But yeah, this will uh, look nice, and uh, we can just use it to start up our hobby. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you can uh, build a, a ball mill you want, um, just like I did. And if it helps you in any way, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.